Good afternoon, I'm Richard from Altcoin Trader. In this video tutorial, I want to show you how to use the Altcoin Trader trading platform. We're going to cover a few of the features and keep it very simple. It is a very simple trading platform, so don't get too worried as you're trying to use it. Once we've gone through this video tutorial, what you'll hopefully be able to do is you'll be able to buy a Bitcoin, okay, understand how to buy it, and then you can use that Bitcoin or part thereof to pay your Kippy subscription, to pay for a Triple M Dream, or if you want to send Bitcoins to someone on the other side of the world, or even if you want to just send them to your neighbor, you should be able to do so. Okay, let's get started. So now, if you've registered and you've got an account and you logged into your account, you can see this is my account and I have a South African Rand balance of 349 Rand. Okay, the current Bitcoin price today is um, 3,699 Rand. Now, let's start in this block. Let's just go through what these things are. This is not the current price. This is the price that of the last sale. So that is the last traded price. It's a good indication, but it does not necessarily mean that if you put in an order for that price that you'll get Bitcoins. The second, is the selling price now that means that there are people selling at that price in this case they just happen to be the same but that is the selling price and there are people that are happy to buy bitcoins for this price here 3500 <coughs> rand then of course over here we've got the high of the day <coughs> the low of the day and the volume of the day all of these in the last column or what has happened over the last 24 hours. So those figures will change, but going back 24 hours, that's the figures. Okay, if we want to buy a Bitcoin. Now, what happens a lot of the time is people will put in an order and the money will go out of their balance and they will get no Bitcoins. And then we get the phone call saying, I've ordered Bitcoins and I haven't got them. How long does it take before I get my Bitcoins? Now, let me just explain that in a little bit more detail. First of all, when you buy Bitcoins and you've put in the correct buying price, you'll get them immediately. There is no waiting, people. It's as simple as that. So, first thing you do when you're buying a Bitcoin is let's go down to the current sell offers. Now, this is very important. What it means is it means that people are selling Bitcoins at this price. So, we can see that there's someone selling a bit, uh, selling 3.66 Bitcoins at 3,699 Rand. So that means that we could buy them. Now, as you can see, I only have 349 Rand. How am I going to buy something that costs 3,600? Well, it's quite simple. We go down here and we don't put in the amount of Bitcoins. We put in the price per Bitcoin because the system will work it out for you. So let's put in here 3699. Okay. Now we put in amount of bitcoins to buy. And in this case, I want to buy 0 0.0698. Okay. So that would cost me 258 Rand. You see how I got the system to work it out? I didn't have to do the calculation myself. Um, so what we can do is if we had to buy that we would then immediately get that Bitcoin. But just to show you another point, if we had to try and buy, we wanted to buy them cheaper than that. So we decided we're going to pay 3,599 Rand. <clears throat> now remember, <clears throat> excuse me, there's no Bitcoins for sale at that price, but we want to buy that because it's cheaper. I'm going to put in this offer. Now look at my balance. I've got 349 Rand and I've got no Bitcoins, as you can see there. So I push buy. It says, are you sure you want to go ahead? I say yes. Okay. The order is placed. Excellent. I go to my balance. No Bitcoins. And I've only got 97 Rand left. What has happened? Have I lost my money? No. What has happened is you now have an order. And there, if you go down to my current buy offers. This is something that only you can see when you're logged in. When other people are logged in, they won't see that. You can see that you have got an order 
for that price for 0 0.0698 bitcoins and it's 251 rand so that 251 rand plus the 97 rand is your balance now you can simply wait for the price to drop if the price drops you will automatically get these bitcoins if the price however doesn't drop this order will just wait here forever so some people like to trade like this because you can get bitcoins cheaper but it also means you have to wait till someone comes and puts in an offer in the selling for 3599 okay but now what we want to do is we want to buy the bitcoin so we are going to cancel the offer now the interesting thing is cancelling an offer is totally free of charge and the money will go back to your balance so let's have a look here we've got 97 rand we've got we're going to cancel this offer and immediately we've got our 349 rand back so there's no costs for cancelling an offer and the money goes back into your balance back to buying a bitcoin remember you put the price in first if you don't want to work it out yourself now i just want to say one thing it is very important a lot of people get the price and the amount of bitcoins to buy mixed up people this can be very dangerous and you can lose your money if you are selling coins when you're buying coins it's not that serious but i would strongly suggest you concentrate and don't make errors when trading you cannot afford an error because it cannot be reversed and your money will be lost and it's only your fault so back to buying a bitcoin what i'm going to do is i'm going to check the price there is someone selling for 3699 i'm going to put in 3699 okay i want to buy my bitcoin now i'm going to buy 0 0.07 9.8 and I'll tell you why I'm buying that because there is a fee for withdrawing a Bitcoin but we'll get to that a bit later so I can see that is going to cost me 295 Rand a quick check I've got enough I push the buy button it says are you sure you want to buy yes and you can see instantly I've got my Bitcoins and the money has been taken off my balance and that is how you buy a Bitcoin okay so now that we've got this bitcoin i want to pay for example a subscription or i want to send this money somewhere what i do is i go to withdraw funds and or coins okay now you can see here's where you can withdraw money but we are going to go to withdrawing btc so we put in our bitcoin address now make sure that you get the bitcoin address correct because <clears throat> it's impossible uh, it's important if you send this money to a place that you don't want to send it it cannot be reversed and i would like to send 0 0.0798 okay so there is a small fee and that's what will be sent okay so once you filled in this and you see that amount there people is what is going to go that is what's going to be paid to my subscription so I click withdraw BTC and it's done. So it says your, your withdrawal request was successful. You will get an email to confirm the withdrawal. Very important. You need to click that email. I'm just going to show in my transaction history. If I go to withdrawals, I will see that this withdrawal is waiting and it says awaiting confirmation what that means is we are waiting for you to click the confirmation in the email that is a security um, issue but you can simply come back here it normally takes a couple of hours and once this status says completed it'll go the next thing after you click the email it'll be processing once it says completed you know that you have successfully paid your subscription well i hope you've enjoyed the video and i hope i've kept it simple enough uh, let's see where we take it from here.